Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cheatin'. And specifically Castlevania 1 with Infinite Locks. Um, this might be the last episode, uh, which means that this is about half as short as I thought it would be. So here, the classic tried and true, uh, remember this guy thing? Wherein the player must fight the first boss. <gasps> that was so close. Wherein the player must fight the first boss of the game as a normal enemy. It's a classic, tried and true, through and through. Uh, that said, um, these guys aren't really fast, so you might just be able to... Oh, pardon me, sir. Excuse me, can I... Thank you. What a polite young bat. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good noise. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, God. Off to a great start. Uh, you can see that this door here is actually the same door as in the start of the game. You gotta really hit your jumps, otherwise they don't work as well. Trust me. I'm a Castlevania expert through cheating. Pardon me, sir. Thank you. This fireball, man. Thank you. I love this little door. Look. So again, another skeleton. He will occasionally come up and meet you, greet you, say hey. Damn it, I needed that. Oh, well, look at that. La -dee -da. Um, so coming up is a boss that actually isn't too difficult, uh, which is especially weird considering that it's the final boss. God, can I run up? Hey, that's not fair. You're in the wall. Good sir. Ain't that just a slap in the head? <laughs> Not swearing's going great, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. So there are um, a few kinds of Castlevanias. There's the Metroidvanias, which are ones that play like Metroid, like Castlevania 2. Oh, go down! <laughs> go down, go down! Okay, cool. Oh, right, health. <sighs> Yet another stupid death. You aren't even supposed to show up yet, dude. <laughs> Not cool, Birdman. So yeah, as anyone who played Assassin's Creed can tell you, Altair just means eagle, and that is the name of those enemies. Uh, they're called that because they're eagles. The strategy that I saw for handling this um, relies on the clock, which makes it kind of a pain in the ass. Or whatever, just rock with it. That I've already lost my clock. Ugh. This is what you all wanted, right? Give me the. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Stress, man. It's a stressful video game. Sir. I'm facing the wrong way. God, just kill me. Get it over with. I'm gonna pause it. Hey, threw himself in a pit. Took another try. I'm gonna ignore that candle, actually. Considering it gave me trubs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Sometimes it helps to be really aggressive with these things. That is not how that's supposed to look at all. Oh, 
first you don't succeed. Just kill yourself. I want to get the whip, but I also don't want to trigger the fools over there. Because, again, um, it's just kind of a weird mechanic, you know? Bro. I'm getting sweaty. So, we're actually in last level territory here. We're coming up on the last level, in fact. Um, you may notice that uh, it's stage 17. You can see that past my fat face, right? Yes, it's stage 17. Go away. Here, have a bag of money. Uh, yes, it's stage 17, which doesn't actually make sense considering that it should be, like, level 6. But this game doesn't use a complete, like, level system. What it actually uses is a uh, needlessly confusing hybrid system that uses both levels and stages. Um, we're on level 5, which is stage 17 total. Gosh, golly. Miss Molly. I kind of prefer the game when you take three damage every enemy. Um, I kind of like it that there are, you know, different ranges of damage in this game. Yeah, this is all getting left in. I'm not cutting any of this out. This is primo. Um, <sighs> but yeah, obviously, like, sometimes it's weird in games where you... Bro, that was embarrassing. Wait, is that the... One moment, just checking something. Huh. I might make my life a little easier. Oh, now this is a money bag. Where was I? Um, it's good to have enemies in games that do differing amounts of damage. Um, but just, you die in four hits is a brutal way, is a way to make your game brutal. It's not even necessarily a bad choice for your game. It's just by saying that you are admitting your game is going to be hard. And in fact, making sure it'll be hard. Oh boy. It hey, sounds like my brother-in-law is finally doing his chores. Uh, apologies if you can hear someone vacuuming me in the background. I am a uh, college age. And while I am not myself a college student, I do live with other people, also college age. One of whom is my wife. And uh, she rescued her brother from some, you know, backwater pit that he was living in. Frankly, we're both glad that he's not living in a crack den anymore. Um, don't tell my wife I said that. She doesn't like those jokes. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can't just... <laughs> Go, Simon, go! <sighs> nope. Nothing. We got that, at least. Anyway. Whew. So here's something interesting. If you run out of lives here, game's like, no, take it again. Who cares? So, you may recognize this from Symphony of the Night. This is Drax Castle. This is the proper final piece of Castlevania. Here's something a little interesting. Hey, look. Candles are back. Isn't that weird? So as soon as this this red wall here touches the side of the screen, boss fight starts. But uh, yeah. Um, and here's another thing that's interesting. Uh, when you die here, even if you game over, you will be sent right back here. This is the only part of the game where hitting continue will bring you right back. Um, so, Castlevania 1 has a sequel. It's one of the only games to have a direct sequel. Um, along with... 
uh, Castlevania 3, which has a sequel in the form of <laughs> Curse of Darkness. Crap. Oh god. Well, end of that chapter. But that's okay. Because we can just do this. But yeah, Castlevania 3, I believe, has Curse of Darkness as a sequel. Which is uh, what the sequel... Sorry, which is what the second season of the Netflix show is based off of. Um... Castlevania 1 is followed by Castlevania 2 because it was kind of a weird era for um, video games. Think about how many games that started on the NES have a weird sequel follow-up. Castlevania 1 is a relatively straightforward game where you go through a castle that's you know very linear, there's only one path through it, and you fight a vampire and a bunch of other monsters. Uh, Castlevania 2, on the other hand, is uh, very non-linear, very confusing, a lot, of, a lot of puzzles and weird riddles to solve. It's a common thing. Look at how different Mario 1 and 2 were. Although that's a whole thing. Mario 2 was actually... Mario 2 in the United States was actually a game called Doki Doki Panic. Mm. Bro. Mario 2 is actually a game called Doki Doki Panic in Japan, but they changed it because Mario 2 was too hard. Uh, which is something of a precursor of all the Kaizo Mario uh, ROM hacks and all of the, shall we say, uh, Rubber Ross made uh, Mario Maker levels. Right, let's go, Drac. So you have to time it. So now you can, so yeah, you can jump over his fireballs, no problem. But you gotta hit him with it. Uh, it's also possible to crouch and swing and hit his fireballs and destroy them with a whip. However, you'll take damage. Not guaranteed, but, you know, a lot of damage to be taken here. Kind of your game to lose, you know? Uh, and similarly, Zelda 2, which is the only Zelda game with a, a number on it, in fact. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link is not top-down like the first game was, and is a swerve for a lot of reasons in a lot of ways. But... Oh god. God. That didn't. Did that hit him? I was just. <laughs> I was just running away from my destiny there, man. Anyway, Castlevania 2 is notoriously different and weird compared to its brother. Alright. Round... I've, I've lost track, Drac, but round whatever this is. And yeah, you... Because he has the maximum hit, hit points available to this in this game... You know, he takes one damage every time you whip him. Mm. You gotta whip him 16 times for all the damage. And that's the last stage of Castlevania. You can really only whip him once per cycle. You know, once per teleport. You must hit him in the head as well. Uh, you cannot damage him unless it is by hitting him in the brain. You know, 
relatively standard zombie rules. I'm aware that Drac is not a zombomb bow, but... Uh, some variation of this attack or fight comes back in almost every Castlevania. So with a combat cross, it gets a little easier. Theoretically. Well, that was pathetic, but... So yeah, as long as you don't ignore the candles, you're going to be coming up here at full power. Which is to say, with a maximum power whip. And it'll take 16 of those to kill him. Ooh! My fingers are getting sore, man. I might, um... Make a save state here, just to... Just for the sake of brevity. Especially since I'm just doing this. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, you're seeing it live, y'all. I don't think it's in G... Oh, save. Here we go. Save. Can't wait to whip those two candles again later. All right. So Castlevania 2 is called Castlevania Simon's Quest. In it, uh, Simon Belmont has been cursed. Oh, God. Uh, and the reason is because of stuff in this game. Uh... There's an enemy called Cookie Monster that we're going to fight pretty soon. Uh, and of course, it's worth noting that Cookie Monster is not his real name. But this is a Japanese video game. As is the law, the final boss has a second form. Oof. The second form is the arguably silly big blue monster. Uh, affectionately called by fans, Cookie Monster. Woo. Okay. So it almost works better if you do it from a neutral jump instead of a walking one. The only thing that determines the difference in Simon Belmont's jumps is if he is walking or standing. If he is standing, you will jump forward. If not, you will jump in place. This uh, carries over to Bloodstained and most other Castlevanias. Anyway, in most Castlevanias, you would typically fight the second form of Dracula, and he would be... Oh god, that was foolish. F7? Yep. You'd fight the second form of Dracula, and that'd be your final boss. However, in this, um, Dracula turns into a big old monster, which maybe we'll see eventually. Oh, crap. You can see that uh, Dracula's head is obviously a different sprite from the rest of his body. Oh, jeez. We've achieved maximum cheating, y'all. I went too far away from it. Uh, this little open cloak attack thing returns in other Castlevanias as a uh, as a spell used by Dracula, his descendants, uh, reincarnations, etc. Ooh, you gotta wait until he opens the cloak. There you go. Oh god. Drac, my man. Ooh, that was a good one. Didn't wait. I was impatient.
Anyway, one of the lead designers for the original Castlevania had something very weird to say about the final boss of this game, which is that initially you do fight Dracula, as you would expect. Crap. I'm just gonna... Why wait? Load right here. You do fight Dracula, as one would expect from the you know, final boss of the Castlevania. It is practically a law that you must fight Dracula at the end of Castlevania, presumably after fighting death in some variety. I hate when he pops right up on you. You know? It's so hard to avoid. This this fight is so much RNG, man. Anyway, the second form is like apparently the curse of man or like the the failure of all humanity or something almost Dark Souls like like that, uh, which is why Simon is cursed in the second game. Uh, Castlevania 2 is called Simon's Quest because it is about Simon's quest to undo the curse that he got from Dracula, which is weird because um, Castlevania 3 is called Castlevania 3 Simon uh, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, which is weird because I don't know if Dracula's actually cursed the protagonist in that game. Oh god! Let's see me shut up and focus. Really good detail in the coffin, I want to say. Bro. I am slipping. What is happening to me? There's still another form after this. I'm not done. That was foolish. As was that. It would be great if I could have my wife here to co-commentate, but she's studying. Why did I think I could have run away from it? I just, my, my animal brain takes over and I'm like, I gotta go away, I gotta run away, I gotta hide from the fly balls. It's why I think wizards would beat cavemen, you know? Their primitive animal brains wouldn't be able to keep up with magic. So I'm keeping track of my uh, my score. What if we saved here? That might be cool. Jump too early. Bro. I 
I'm like dodging in real life. That's that's what this is doing to me. I'm like. Ooh. It's not really that bad, actually. Now that I'm getting down into it. This is doable. Theoretically. <laughs> Save Staten. This is this is like two thousand and eight let's player shenanigans, you know? Like just cheating your way through a boss fight for a game you don't even have. Twenty-six minutes. I wasn't even close enough. Ooh. Load it. What if I were to disguise emulated gameplay as an original NES? Delightfully devilish, Simon. And like, if you don't hit him, you just don't get the damage for that circle. For that cycle, rather. Come on, man. Okay. Sorry, all you can hear is just the comforting sounds of a vacuum cleaner. And, like, your whip takes so much time to, like, properly fire up that, like, you cannot spam this attack. You only get the one chance to swing. I didn't hit the button. What happened there? I just didn't hit the button. Okay, so the button works. It's just me. I'm broken. Count every single one of these as a different life, by the way. Simon, by some hilarious mistake, somebody swapped your whip out for the vampire healer actually been making drag healthier and stronger this whole time. Okay. Where'd 
We're now resorting to saving in between swings of the whip. Another one. A pit of dead Simons, you know? God, this is like the hardest fight I've had in years. I'm trying to think of what boss has even rendered me this, like, speechless. You know, I started talking and I, I screwed it up. Maybe the Nameless King from Dark Souls 3. Nice. Love that. the equivalent of summoning in Dark Souls, just straight cheating, you know? I think it's kind of funny how in Nintendo's own, like, official emulators, like, if you buy, like, a uh, Donkey Kong Country off the Nintendo eShop for your Switch, they actually do not call, uh... They do not call it, like, a save, a save pot, they call it a, a restore point. Yeah, this is what we're doing now. Keep it coming. Eventually, you'll be able to edit all of my footage together, and you'll be able to see what a tool-assisted speedrun robot looks like. Bro. Man, wouldn't it be cool if there was a Castlevania fighting game? If only. If only they ever made that, and then contracted the Death Note author for some reason. Oh, my emo hair is getting in my eyes. Mm. All right, check that out. You decapitate him. It's radical. And then this is the like curse of all humanity or something. Just whip. No, don't just whip. Nice. They should call it like a cheat point, you know? A cowardice point. The timing is so specific, you know? That was... that was terrible. Alright. Proper phase two. And we're in the worst possible spot to fight him. Being in the corner is terrible. Because he can walk into you. Oh goodness. See, the thing that really rocks about the holy water is its ability to stun enemies. Like, the damage is 
Okay. But what you really want is that stun, you know? It is almost impossible to walk underneath him. In fact, you will likely not pull it off. You will rarely be able to pull it off if you are already in the corner because he will jump over you in order to, you know, potentially with some mercy, make it so you can just walk underneath him, you know? Like, it's not improbable, you know? You can imagine how kids in the in the 80s and 90s could have been, like, could have done this, you know? Like, God, they weren't cavemen banging together sticks and rocks. They could understand patterns. Okay. 30 minutes, huh? I'm gonna pause and take a break because my hands are sweating. Hey, all right, we're back in. Uh, I texted my wife. She's doing well. I did a practice run on the boss. Oh, God. I'm doing real damage to him now, which is good. Oh, jeez. Okay. I forgot that you also have to hit this one in the head. Well, that was just stupid. And this is Cookie Monster, as you may recall me mentioning. Dude. I just wanted to walk under you, man. See, apparently this is not Dracula. This is like the sum of all of humanity's sins or something like that. And you can see again that uh, he's got multiple oh God. sprites for his uh, body and head. Oh my god. Okay, that was really good. That was good. One, two. Throw. One, two. Throw, throw, one, two. Thank you. Throw, one, two. Throw, one, two. Jump, throw, one, two. Let's go for another. Throw, one, two. The fire. Throw, one. We'll just go for one then. One, two. Throw what? Cheating has saved the day again. So yeah, um, that thing, the curse of all humanity, uh, apparently the remnants of Dracula's power, um, or the source of them even, cursed Simon as a, uh, as he killed Dracula. But as you saw, Dracula's head was whipped out the window, um, and the rest of his body also exploded. All right. That was hard. Would have been harder if I had played it like you're supposed to. Produced by Konami. Directed by Trans Fishers. Uh, I think this one? There we go. The cast. Dracula. Played by Christopher B. Ha ha. Bello Lugosi. Boris Karloffis. Love Cheney Jr. Barber Short Sherry. Nick Shrex, Lon Cheney, Green Stranger, Caf Cafabar Reed, uh, Amore Moral, Jane Candies, the hero, Simon Belmondo. Yeah, they spell his name 
either incorrectly or they changed the spelling of it. You played the greatest role in this story. Thank you. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. I had a good time, even if I cheated. Um, and then start from again. Start, start, start from scratch. Play it again. It's not like it's a proper new game plus because you just start with whatever you had from the last level. But let's take a victory lap here, huh? Uh, we don't need the holy water because uh, it actually sucks on this upcoming boss. Oh my god, it deals the normal... Oh, so it's a hard mode. Interesting. But it can't be that much harder because everything only deals four damage, right? Does it keep scaling? That's kind of wild if that's the case. Hey, everyone. That's Castlevania. Um, thank you for uh, accompanying me on this cheating-heavy journey. Um, play this game yourself. Uh, they might have ported it to Steam, which I probably should have checked before I got the emulator. Um, I love how you could, there's too many sprites on screen and they all start flickering even when it's paused. Anyway, uh, they might have put it on Steam via emulator, uh, which you should play and check out if you can. Um, you know, support the developers and all that. Uh, I actually do own a NES cartridge of Castlevania. Uh, it's not at this house. I only have my SNES and my PS3 here. Uh, oh, and the PS4, but that's like the family PS4. Uh, I painted my nails, by the way. I'm very cute. But yes, I actually do own Ness Castlevania 1. Uh, but yeah, you're meant to support the original release. Konami are kind of weird about it, though, so... I won't tell if you don't. Um, play this game yourself. Beat it yourself. It's good. There are so many good game design things that I wish that I had more of a brain to talk about, but this game requires focus from me. Uh, for those of you wondering why I played Bloodstained on easy mode, it's because of that. Because it took me 40 minutes to defeat the final boss while talking uh, in the game's only mode, which is a uh, hard mode. Let me pop myself up here. But yeah, um, that's Castlevania, everyone. Uh, I hope you all had a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I will play Castlevania 2, but possibly after this. Or not, probably not right after this. There's probably going to be some things in between. Um, but this ended up taking less time, so maybe I'll need to play Castlevania 2 to fill time. But until then, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a great day and bye.